SCS Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana is tamu sana. William Ruto is on record saying they joined hands together with Musalia Mudavadi not to share positions but to uplift the livelihood of hustlers. William Ruto is on record not once or twice but on several occasions saying that. So Cleophas Malala made some remarks yesterday. So in this video, I want us to compare what William Ruto has been saying about coming together with Musalia Mulavadi. Then we compare that to what Cleophas Malala said yesterday. After which, as usual, we are just going to dissect it to see exactly what it means politically. Listen into this. Tumekubali kuungana na watu wa ANC. Tumekubali kuungana na watu wa Fort Kenya. Muna kubali tuungane jameni? Na tumekubali kuungana sio kwa sababu ati tugawane viti ama mamulaka. Tunaungana kupeleka Kenya mbele. Soon after. Ruto ametukwatia share katika serikali yake. Tumekaa chini, tukaelewana 30% of government will come to western province. Ame tuambia kwa mawaziri 20 na moja ata tupatia saba kwa PS ata tupatia kuminatatu CAS ata tupatia kuminatano heads of parastatals ata tupatia 185 yes listening to William Ruto and then listening to Cleophas Malala I'm seeing two leaders talking completely two different things William Ruto is saying they are not there to share positions. Cleophas Malala is just confirming that indeed they have shared those positions. What does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. For those who have been keenly following me here, I've always maintained that William Ruto's brand of politics is based on deceit, propaganda, and lies. And that's exactly what is coming out listening to William Ruto and then listening to Cleophas Malala. So it exposes the lies and propaganda in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Saying something today, tomorrow saying completely a different thing. William Ruto is on record castigating the Azimio team. That they are just there to share positions eh, and they don't care about Mamamboga the hustlers. William Ruto is on record as stating that. And what we have been seeing in the recent days, in fact, William Ruto is the single most politician who has been very busy sharing positions with some aspirants within Uda. Yes, boardroom deals. No Mamamboga, no Muto wa Boda Boda, no, no, no hustler in those boardrooms. We have been seeing William Ruto very actively in boardrooms sharing those positions. Yeah. And on the on the other side, he's saying they are not there to share position. And also Cleophas Malala, for those who have been keenly following Cleophas Malala, sometimes back also Cleophas Malala made it clear that their coming together with Ruto was not to share positions. So it seems that these leaders have reached a point whether they don't care what they say today, eh, they don't care. Eh, whether they say something today, tomorrow they will say completely a different thing from what they said yesterday, and they don't care. That is something coming out very, very clearly. So it's also an indication that William Ruto and his brigade cannot be taken seriously. They are just leaders changing goalposts and positions on issues depending on the prevailing political circumstance, that comes out very, very clearly. And I won't be wrong to state that maybe in the coming about five or six months after the elections, you, you might find William Ruto again talking completely a different thing from what actually saying today. That also comes out very, very clearly. And then from all those, from those two clips, again from Ruto and Cleophas Malala, I'm also of a strong opinion that it's, not, it's now time 
the credibility or integrity of, of some of these leaders should be a serious requirement. Mm -hmm. In fact, even before IBC or even ESCC clear some of these leaders, the integrity of a leader should actually be critical. You should, your integrity should also encompass what you have done while in office and the kind of promises you have actually given before. William Ruto is on record promising Kenyan sun stadiums. These are things in public domain. Promising laptops. Promising so many things that are actually in public domain. William Ruto has so far, till right now, he has never fulfilled those. And we are, we are finding the same person still campaigning to be elected as the president without even flinching an eye. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just see, see, look, have a look at that kind of a situation. He knew, he knows very well he gave Kenya some promises. He knows he never fulfilled those promises. And he's coming back to give new promises. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, integrity of this leader should actually now be key, be a key requirement. And then from also those, from Ruto and Cleofas Malala talking, I'm also seeing a short-sighted William Ruto. A William Ruto who actually talks without looking at the bigger picture, without looking at the future. He's a, a loose talker. Let me put it that way. Ruto is just a loose talker. He always talks without sitting down well to actually think before actually he speaks. And that is why in most of William Ruto's speeches, we always expose William Ruto as a double speaker because he's not actually looking at the bigger picture and the future. And for example, let me give you this example. Before Uhuru Kenyatta fell out with William Ruto, William Ruto was not even bringing any narrative of a hustler versus dynasty. In fact, he was in full support of Uhuru and those people is now branding dynasties. But when he came to realize that now these people, or rather Uhuru was not going to support him, he started branding himself a hustler and a dynasty. Yeah. So you can see clearly that we are just dealing with a typical African and a typical Kenyan politician. Somebody who does not even care what he says today or tomorrow. He talks without looking at the future. Or rather, we're looking at the bigger picture. Ruto comes out as short-sighted. Yes, that comes out clearly. And then another point, I'm seeing a William Ruto also taking advantage of the naivety mm -hmm. or the ignorance of Kenyans. I know some Kenyans might by now have realized that William Ruto might be cheating. Let me tell you guys, some have not realized that. Some still believe that when William Ruto becomes president, then maybe they will be in status. The hustlers, the Mamboga, some still believe that, that they will be in status. And some, as I talk, they believe that when William Ruto becomes the president, then this thing of bottom up <laughs> will be realized. Something that even William Ruto himself cannot even explain. Some still believe in that. And then the mere fact that William Ruto says one thing today, tomorrow he says completely a different thing. William Ruto has studied the psychology of Kenyans, and he knows a majority are not informed. A majority are very, very ignorant. That's why, actually, he has the guts to say one thing today. Tomorrow he says completely a different thing. Already he knows Kenyans are not all that informed in terms of political experience, or if they have informed, then they have been hijacked hmm, as a result of bad ethnic politics. William Ruta studied the Kenyan politics and he knows such kind of dynamics. That's why he's cheating today and tomorrow he's saying completely a different thing without flinching an eye. Yes. And as I also conclude, all from listening to Ruto and listening to Cleofas Malala, I'm just seeing a confused team. A team that actually they don't have any concrete idea that they will immediately they assume power, they will actually use to transform the lives of Kenyans. 
I'm just seeing a team that is disparate for power. A team that is just there to acquire that power. Eh? Upon acquiring that power, they don't have any other agenda. That comes out very, very clearly. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, just as I did state when we were starting, in case you've bumped here for the very first time, and so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. And to our fans, our subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya.